Good morning. We are here to do our May 2020 classes. Um, because of the pandemic that's going on right now, we're doing everything online, which is a first for me. Um, thank you for joining. And we are going to be using for our May card class, the Above the Cloud stamp set, which is retiring. And also the balloon, hot balloon punch, which also is retiring and these coordinate together. And these are the four cards that we are going to be making today. And this is our first card. And it's a fancy fold. And it opens up like this. Oh. <laughs> so that's our first card. Our second card will be scenery card. Ooh, that's pretty. And then our third card will be a adventurous card. And this is designer series paper that's already printed with the birds. So I just thought it went together because it's, it's like we're watching balloons go up in the air. And the fourth balloon, I mean the fourth card, is just a high friend balloon. And, wow. and we're gonna go through all of this um, on how to make this balloon. Because this is some of our foil paper. Okay, so let's get started on these. And if you don't have the the items that we are using today, for example, this punch and the, the stamp set, these two are still available as of this morning. Um, we are selling out quickly on stamp sets. So um, if you're interested in buying this, then I would suggest um, that you do it quickly before they do sell out and also before um, they are no longer available, which will be after June 2nd. Okay. So let's get started. So you, in your packet, you received all of the items that you would need for this card. So we're gonna fold our base card and our, the base card that you received should already be scored and it's scored at two and three quarters. And then if you turn it over, it's scored at two and three quarters. And that will make the two flaps. I'm going to fold it in and I'm going to use my bone folder to crease that to make the crease a little bit flatter. We're going to put that aside. Now we're going to do the panels. So you'll, you should have received two pieces of, of Whisper White and we're going to do the panels. We're going to use our balmy blue ink pad and I'm just going to get my stamp sets ready so in the stamp set there are three clouds that come together if you can see that there's three clouds that come together and there's also three balloons that come together. So they look like they're not together, but when you get the stamp, then you can see that they're all together. So we're gonna be using this one and we're also going to be using the three balloons. So these, these are just gonna be random on how you wanna place the, the clouds. And we're going to place them all over the, the strip of Whisper White, all the way to the bottom, as many as you would like, as little as you would like. And do the same thing on the other one. And there is no wrong way to do this one and you are going to stamp 
off your paper, which is fine. And then with the Momento Black, we are going to use the three balloons. As you can see, they're all together. And we're gonna stamp these just anywhere you would like on your card. And this is more of a background for your card. I'm gonna do one more right here. And get the next one. Like I said, this is just a background. One more. Okay. We're going to close up our inks just to make sure we don't get ink everywhere. And then we are going to assemble. So the piece of Whisper White that you have that's four inches by five and a quarter is going to be the inside. Now I'm not going to stamp anything on it, but if you were going to stamp something on it, I would suggest you stamp it first before you adhere it to your card base, just in case you make a mistake, you can just flip it over. So this, this is part of our Subtles in color, um, six by six card uh, designer series paper. And so I just, Cut a piece, and when um, when I send you the instructions after the class, it'll have all the measurements for, for these pieces. So we're gonna attach it to the black card base, which will be making the flap on the front. And then you should have received two uh, basic black pieces, and these are going to be the layers for the clouds that we just stamped. So let me get my adhesive. And put this together. And this is our snail adhesive, which will be retiring in the, this catalog. But don't panic. We are coming out with more uh, adhesive that is stronger and may be a little bit better than the one that we have now. Not that there's anything wrong with our snail, it's just the new one is um, says that it's going to be a little bit stronger. Okay, so once we attach to that, we're going to attach this to the front of our card base. The snail. So they're just reinventing the snail, which is good. Improvements are always good. I'm going to center that on our flap. And we're going to put adhesive on the other side. And we're also going to center that. So that's one piece. Now we're going to do the balloons. So you should have received two balloons um, in your packet. And the balloon punch, if you see the balloon punch, it, let me turn it this way. So it will, uh, punch out the basket. So um, you can either punch out the basket first or you can stamp your basket and then punch it out. So that's what I did. I stamped it first and then I punched it out. And we're gonna use our bronze stamp and blend just to color in the basket. And you can use any brown, um, any of our neutrals that we have to color the basket. I just like the bronze color. And 
and then we're going to use again the momentum black and on the balloon that doesn't have anything on it we are going to stamp let your dream soar from the stamp set in the middle and then how i did the the outline of the balloon you can either use your dauber to go over the sides but what i did is i used our stamp and blends and i used the um the light one okay so our stamp and blends have two sides one side is thick and one side is thin the thin one usually is used for smaller spaces or for writing and the thicker one is used more for the blending so i used the thicker side and I just went, I just did a little thin line outside of, on the outside of the balloon. So like I said, you can either do your, your dauber or you can use your stamp and blend. If you, if you don't have a stamp and blend, you can use your dauber. And if I keep saying dauber, but in case you don't, um, this is one of our Stampin' da Daubers. So it goes on your finger and then you will put it in the ink and you would just go over on the edges and it puts some of the ink on there. So you can either use a dauber or you can use the blends. So I use the blends. And then I took my basic black marker that also the same, it has the thick side and the thin side. And I used the thin side this time. And I just did a small line on the edge of the balloon. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Let me put that down. And again, you can either use your dauber for this part, but um, I just wanted a thin line just to do a little shadow. So I use my marker instead of the dauber. And the reason I did this is because on your card, um, I wanted to be able to see the edge of the balloon up against the, um, the top layer because it was going to be the same color, the balmy blue. There you go. Put these aside. Now on this balloon, we are going to use our, um, our stamp. Where is my oh. So all the balloons, um, they, you have a shadow stamp for the balloon, also for the clouds um, and for the smaller balloons. And what does that mean? Is that when you stamp the, the thicker balloon, the balloon, you can go over it with the shadow in any color. So we're gonna go over that one. I'm going to use the balmy blue. And this block here, it's a little bit thinner. This is our paper pumpkin block. So if you um, get a paper pumpkin for the first time, this block will be in your, in your first kit for you, for you to use with the upcoming paper pumpkins. So we're just going to stamp that on top of the balloon to give it the shade there we go 
All right, so now we're just going to assemble. So on this part, I'm going to use my tearing tape because we want to put our layer down first. Oh, let me add here this to our basic black. And most of our designer series paper is double sided. So on this side, we have some words. And on this side, we have the shapes. So I'm going to use the shapes. Center that. And I'm going to place my piece on top where I want it to be. So that way I can see how far I need to put the tear and tape. And the tear and tape, the reason they call it that is because you can get a piece of paper and you can just tear it off with your nail like this. And it comes right off and it's very strong adhesive. It's double sided tape. And because this is the top layer of your card, you want to make sure that it's on here um, and it won't come off. So I'm going to do two, uh, I'm going to do three strips. And this last one is where I have to gauge it to make sure I don't go over. And the reason I don't want to go over is, is I just want to go as far as this flap, because if you put adhesive on this one, it's going to close your card um, permanently. So you don't want to do that because this way only one side is gonna be down with adhesive and the other side is not. So we're just gonna take this top layer off. And we're gonna flip it over. And again, before we put it down, we're gonna just see them put it right in the middle. Like and press it down. And with putting adhesive only on one side, it allows you to open it and it doesn't go over the line. Okay, so that's the top of our parts. Now we're going to put on the balloons. And the balloons, we're going to put these on with um, dimensionals. And I love dimensionals. Dimensionals, um, are just that they are pop-ups or they give anything that you want to put on your card a little bit of height of dimension and I put dimensionals on almost everything so I want to put two dimensionals one on the top one at the bottom and to put these on we're also going to put these on with dimensionals but we're going to have to cut down our dimensional to fit. So you can either use the side of the dimensionals, the border, which I will be using, because um, I use every single part of our dimensionals. There's no sense in, in throwing it away. Okay, so we're going to put the just a piece, both of these. And it's your preference on where you want to place your balloons. So we're going to remove the backing because, again, these are also double-sided. And there's a, a backing to them to protect them until you need them. And I'm going to go high with this one. And then I'm going to go low with this one. If I can get the backing off. Oh. Here we go. I'm going to go low with this one, but you don't want to go too low because you need some room for your basket. And to put the basket on, I usually do it sideways and right up against the balloon. Do the same thing with this one. Okay. 
and right up against the blue. And there's your first card. And again, I'm not, I'm not um, adhering this down until I put my sentiment on there. I still don't know what I'm going to do, but I think this seems to be um, a good graduation card. So that might be what I'm using it for. And also, there is no wrong or right way to use the card. So this card to me might be more of a masculine card. But if so, if you want to do a feminine card, you might want to use maybe a purple or uh, some of our, um, the Blushing Bride uh, card stock that comes in our six by six. And let me just show you that. So this is our six by six designer paper, which is what I used. And you have two sheets of the same on every pack. There's four sheets of every color, but two sheets of the same design. So if you wanted to use, if you wanted to make this a feminine card, you might want to use some of our Blushing Bride, um, maybe our Petal Pink, and use those colors instead of the balmy blue. So just an option. Okay, so let's start on our second card. So our second card will be, um, we're going to be using something out of the Christmas catalog. We're going to be using the perfectly plaid stamp set. And the only reason we're going to be using this one is because we're going to be using the tree um, stamp set from this set. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold our cardstock in half. And this is a eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock. So basically, if you had one of our eight and a half by 11, so this is a regular eight and a half by 11 cardstock. So if you would just cut this in half, is how you would get your base card. So you can get two base cards out of one, eight and a half by 11. And we'll fold that down. And we're gonna go ahead and adhere this, the, the second layer in your card. And again, uh, the Design Shares paper has two sides. Um, the gingham and the triangles, I guess. Um, so you decide which one you would like to use. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna come in and do our stamping. So we are going to use two colors with this one. We're gonna use pear pizzazz, and we're gonna use old olive. I am going to stamp with the old olive just randomly some trees. So that's three. And then I'm going to clean off my stamp. And I'm going to come in with the lighter color, which is the pair of pizzazz, and stamp the trees right in the middle. Make it look like a forest. And you can keep going um, over it until you cover the, the bottom. Just like that. It's a great way to use other stamp sets in your cards. 
And then we're going to come in with the clouds again. And the stamp set above the clouds. And we put some clouds on the top. And again, these are random. Don't have to follow what I do. And we're going to come in with our Let Your Dream Soar. I'm going to use the Memento Black. And place this on towards the left side, right above the trees. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our balloon. So I'm going to show you how to do the balloon. So on the balloon, I am using some of our Bird Ballad Designer Series paper, which is going to retire at the end of the, the month, or on June 2nd, and it is on sale, um, but they're going quickly. So if you would like some of, um, of this designer paper, you should get it this weekend before they sell out. So I'm gonna be using this designer paper because I like the stripes. I'm going to be using our punch and let me show you. So the punch, there's there's a gap right here where it's just where your paper will go. And we always use it upside down because we like to see where we're punching. And as you can see, the stripes are right there. And it's going to give you the two pieces, it's going to give you the triangle and the basket. But I'm going to use this basket because I already have another basket um, punched out, which is this little basket here. So this basket, we're going to put it up on dimensionals again, doing two dimensionals, taking off the backing. I'm going to place the balloon just on the right hand side and just a little bit crooked to make it look like it's going up. You don't have to, but I, I did that. I realize now that balloons don't go sideways as they're going up, they go straight up, down, but just add a little bit of character on there. So we get the balloon, put the dimensional again on the backing. Take the double, the protective layer off of the dimensional. Stuck in my finger. Put the basket right on um, top of, next to the balloon. And the reason I'm saying that is because there's a little gap of white between the basket and the edge of the paper. So if you put it up against the balloon, it won't seem like too much of a gap. We're gonna come back with our bronze and color in the basket. And then we're going to add some adhesive to the back. We're gonna place this in our card, card base right in the middle. Okay. And that is your second card. Yeah, great. It's a it's a fun way of how to use designer series paper, not just for backgrounds, but you can use it for balloons because balloons are very colorful, hot air balloons. Okay, so we're gonna do our third card. So this is our third card. And first thing I do always is fold my card base. Again, this is a Whisper White and it's eight and a half by five and a half. And you just fold it in half and we'll set that aside. And this is some designer series paper from our Bird Ballad also. And 
this is your piece of this is black and the reason it's um it has punched out is because i punched out the balloons the black balloons from the backing um this is a tip on how to save a little bit of paper if you do some of the punching or cutouts or die cuts from your backing you're going to place this layer on top so no one will see that you've cut some items out it's just a little bit of a tip to, to save a little bit of paper so we're going to adhere our card base our designer paper to our card our second layer and the reason i call it we call it our second layer is because that's that's what it is um the card base is considered the first layer this would be considered our second layer and then the top designer paper is our third layer and most of the time um if you send these through the post office they don't like us to go over the fourth layer which the fourth layer would be if we put some dimensionals and these are considered fourth layer um, the thicker they are the more postage we will need to send it so we're going to put some adhesive on the back of this in the middle and we'll compare this to the back of a card oh i always make sure that's open the right way i've been known to put this on backwards and had to redo the whole card okay and this is like i said designer paper so the birds are already on here we don't have to do anything with that and then we're going to get our balloons so again the balloons the paper for the balloons comes out of our bird ballad designer paper so here's another piece so you have a lot of options and of course i've been using this one so there's not that much paper left but you see that you have the double sided you have some feathers you have some bird cages you have polka dots you have some birds on um, branches and then you have i think these are bird feet like the little bird feet uh imprint and then you have some birds on this side so i'm using the back side of this one for the balloon to punch out the balloon and then we have the basic black and then i use some of our silver glimmer paper um, to do the third balloon so we're going to do we're going to place dimensionals on all three well i'm sorry we're going to place dimensionals on two of them not on the basic black the basic black is going to be flush up against that second layer and we're going to cut out the little pieces here for the basket so this is the glimmer paper basket which will get a dimensional the basic black basket will not have a dimensional but the bird feet will so we need to put a dimensional on that one Okay, so then we're going to start assembling. So I put the bird feet, and I call it bird feet because I think that's what those are. They're like little bird feet impressions. So we put this one on first towards the bottom, but it, with enough space to put the basket. And we're going to adhere the black. right below right underneath the bird feed balloon and then the glimmer paper balloon will go right on top of the black but at the top so you have three balloons taken off and then we're going to add our baskets and on these baskets, I did use the designer paper. And the black one. This one's kind of hard. 
because there's a little tiny piece. Go up against the black balloon. And then our last piece, we take the backing off of this one. This is our glimmer paper. And again, up against, and if you go over on the black balloon, that's fine. I, I have like a little tip on the black balloon. That's fine. Just like a little shadow. So there's your three balloons. And now we're going to do our sentiment. So I have previously cut this piece out using our tag punch. So this is our tag punch. This will not be retiring. So this will be in our new catalog, but it cuts out the little tag punch. And I previously cut this from the backing of the basic black. So here's our sentiment. We're going to be using, and this is just a little scrap of Whisper White. Um, sometimes when we cut out the layers of the cards, we, we get these little strips left over. So you always want to save your, your strips, your, your scraps, just for sentiments or just for little projects. They come in handy all the time. So this one says you're off to great places. So this again, I didn't put my hair in there. This to me again um, is great for graduation. So basically these are encouragement, graduation cards. Um, we're in the season right now of graduations, even though some graduations are not taking place, we can still send them a card. And actually, yeah, I, I think I need to send a couple myself. Okay, so we're going to put some adhesive on the back of this strip. And because this strip is the same size as our basic black, we're not going to put it directly on top. What we're going to do is we're going to create like a shadow effect and put it just slightly below and to the right of the basic black. So it kind of makes a little shadow effect. The only thing is, is we're gonna cut off this little piece right here. We're gonna follow the line of the Whisper White. And so that way you only have black on two sides sort of creating that shadow effect. Then we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of this one. We're gonna put, and if the two dimensionals will fit perfectly on the back of that. And then we're gonna remove our piece, our backing off the dimensionals. I'm gonna place this on the bottom right hand corner. And that's it. That's your third card. So again, the balloon, you can punch it from any designer paper, glimmer paper, basic cardstock, um, anything that you would like. So I love punches. They're so easy to use. So that's your second card. We're gonna go on to the third uh, or fourth card. Okay. So this is our, we're gonna, again, we're gonna fold our basic black, our cardstock, our base card, I should say. Here's our bone folder to crease down the end, the fold. Okay, so we're going to do the balloon first. So this one I've already done. But what I did with this one is I cut out, um, and I'm going to show you how to do this one. So this is our gold glimmer paper, or um, is that gold? gold foil sheets. So we have gold and we have silver. In order to use this uh, foil sheet, 
uh, with stamping. You cannot use Memento Black because it will run. Um, and you can actually just take a piece, a, a towel, and then just rub off the ink. So what you want to use with this foil, if you're going to stamp on it, is a Stazon. Stazon will not run, but you do have to be careful because it, it is slippery. So we're going to do... Pick up our stamp and go straight down. And if you move it, it's going to be a little bit slippery, so you just want to go straight down and up, and it will not run, it will not bleed. And if you let it dry just a few seconds, it's permanent. And then we get our punch. We line it up with our balloon. And we punch that out. Yes, it already punched out the basket. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to come in with our basket stamp. And we're going to use the stays on. And we are going to stamp it right above. Take that off of there. Let it try a few seconds, and it's not the best, but that's how you would stamp it. Or if you would like to get a perfect stamp, a perfect um, basket, you would stamp it first. And then you will line this up with your punch. Like this. And with our punches, if you hold it down just a little bit without going all the way down, it will secure that piece so you can guide it and then you can punch it. See, and now we have the perfect basket. So that's how you use the punch. kind of way. Okay, so we're going to cover up. And now we just assemble. So this is our um, Whisper White, and I've embossed it with the Puffed Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. This is also on the retired list. I didn't check to see if it was still available, but if it is and you like the way it embosses, um, I suggest you get that this weekend before they do sell out or they're no longer available. So we're gonna put some adhesive on the back of this one. And we're gonna put this on our card base. And we have some rich raspberry cardstock. And this came from the Poppies um, Designer Series paper, which is also on sale because it is retiring. And you have some very, very bright colors. Um, you have some more of a watercolor paper. So on this side, you have the Poppies. We have some purple, some reds, greens. Um, so I love this paper, but it's also on sale because it is retiring, only available in June, until June 2nd. So I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back of this one. I'm gonna place this in the middle of our gold foil strip and try to center it. Sometimes when we cut the paper, it's a little bit longer. So I just 
go to the back and make sure that they're even and they are, so I'm good. So I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back of the foil. I'm going to place this on, on top of our embossing layer. And this is the same size, the same height, so it's five and a quarter. So it's gonna be flush against the bottom and the top. So we just center that. So then I used the um, the oval used the layering ovals framelit dies to die cut these out because you have you get this galloped die and then you also have the um, the regular die so you can do the scallop layers just like this. So that's what, what we're gonna be doing, just like that. So both the scallop and the regular come in one, one package. These are not retiring, um, so they're gonna be available uh, in our new catalog. So then we are going, before we adhere that down, we are going to stamp. And we're gonna be using the stamp, um, Hello Friend. And going back to my Memento Black. So if you um, are going to use our Stampin' Blends, like we did before, it's best to use Stays On. Um, I'm sorry, it's best to use Memento with the Stampin' Blends and not Stays On. Um, they will not bleed if you use Memento Black. If you use any other um, ink, then they will bleed. So, if it towards the bottom, once you stamp it, we're gonna put adhesive on the back. Let me close this. And if you do a lot of retreats, a lot of classes, and you take your Memento Black with you, it's best to put your initials on it because they all look alike. And if you set it down on a table and walk away, you'll never find it again. So I always put my initials on my, on my pads, my ink pads. Okay, so we're gonna center that in the middle. I think that's good. I love the way it adds just that layer of scallop. I wanna put this on with dimensionals um, on our card base. On my dimensionals and because it is a bigger piece I do three of the dimensionals I'm going to put center this right in the middle and if you're not sure what the middle is I would just go by the ridges to make sure that they're in place. Now this to me seems a little bit lopsided because we added some more layers here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another piece of another dimensional, take off the backing on both sides and then just slide this under right there. Let's see, and now it's level. Even though there's not a dimensional on this side, adding this piece here adds the height, which make, made it go lopsided. So adding a dimensional kind of evens it out. Okay, so then again, we're gonna do the dimensionals on the balloon. Two dimensionals, one at the top, one at the bottom. Um, grab our little basket. Put a half a dimension, or I should say a quarter of a dimensional on there. And take that off. Put on the back of our basket. And start taking the, the top layers off. Ooh, it's stuck to me. Take the backing off of the balloon. 
center that on our oval layer. Grab the basket. Up against flush with the bottom, not to cover the words. And there you go. That is our fourth card. So it's very easy to use the punches. I, I love using the punches. Um, I think it's one of our best tools. But these are four different ways on how to use one punch and one stamp set. Um, so there's, there's many other ways to use these. Um, we didn't use some of the sentiments on here. We didn't use some of the, the ribbons or that little flag. We didn't use the birds. So there's a lot of things that we didn't use, um, but what we did use, um, we used in various ways, which I just love. And I hope you enjoyed this, um, this card class. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs>